Now, veneers and implants have never been as popular as more of us try to achieve the perfect smile. But what if there was another way that involved growing new teeth? Work by scientists here in London suggests it might soon be possible. Anna O'Neill reports. It's an odontophile's dream here on the 27th floor of Guy's Hospital London, but fortunately none of these teeth still bite. In the nearby laboratory though, for more than a decade, dental scientists have been trying to grow one that can, and they've almost done it. I'm a clinical dentist, but uh, this idea of actually replacing in a biological way and regrowing a tooth was the one which drew me here in London and I have stayed here and we have developed this research further. Using a person's own cells to regrow an organ is thought to be less risky and while these scientists may have grown a tooth they haven't yet managed to harvest it for transplant. Biological tooth is, uh, is not like the implants or the like dentures, it's artificial one. So it has its own vessels, it, has, it can grow by itself. So that is the really cool part. And it can interplay with your bones better than the artificial one. So what we can see here, this is actually a section of little toothlets, tooth organoids, which were formed in a dish, in a lab. And you can see that already the cells which are responsible to make the enamel and the cells which are responsible for making the other parts of the tooth, such as the dentin or the dentin pulp, they're all already committed and they will be forming the dental tissues once we implant them. Prosthodontics is the art and science of replacing missing teeth. And at the moment, the choices for patients are between dentures, bridges and implants. All very inelegant solutions, um, but they work in a lot of cases. So this uh, new technology of regrowing teeth is very exciting uh, and has potential to be a game changer for dentistry. Will it come in in my lifetime of practice? Hopefully another 30 years? Probably not. Will it be in for my children's um, dental lives? Maybe. And my children's children, hopefully. We are really filling in the gaps of knowledge in order to translate that into the lab and grow a tooth in a dish. But it'll be a while before you're filling in the gaps in someone's mouth. Yes. <laughs> Anna O'Neill, BBC London.